do that, we have to adjust the IR sensors to read the light directly and make sure that the light is centered with the LEDs. You can see here, it's right here. At this point, it should have turned right. The turn right and left. Well, we can't have to go straight because the light will... But, we put it back and, it, it, again, because of the alignment, we put it back, realign it, center it, and it, it, it turns. So it works. Another thing we uh, figured out... Next will be the book. I'm trying to the side so it will go straight into the book. Right. It's shimmy its way over so it does have complications but because of the weight fluctuation it goes over pretty smoothly. So the th I think I came mentality sure does apply to it. Um, this optical is not... Okay, we push the button right here. Now, the, the missile is a real rocket that we can launch. It can go up 700 feet up the air, but we took out the propulsion system because for safety reasons, for the scope, we don't want to put it down. We're almost done. Now, it's in level ground mode, so it's just going to walk, right? What happens is it sees an obstacle, okay? It will avoid it anyway, because the sonar sees an obstacle. So now it no longer sees the obstacle. It's going to continue walking forward. But I put my hand under here, it's simulating. You see how the legs wake up and it sort of is attempting to climb over my hand now. You see? So let's say it's about to fall. I have control over it now. Okay? So now I back it up. So now I back it up and I'm controlling it. Okay? Now it's in autonomous mode. Switch it. Now it's in regular mode. Now what I would like to show you guys is the different modes within RC control. Within RC control, I can choose between all-terrain or level ground. Right now, it's in level ground. As you see, the legs are just barely lifting off the ground. That's the point of level ground. Now, when I switch, when I switch into all-terrain, you should see the legs coming up off the ground attempting to climb. You see? That's, I, can, I can control that from this controller. Uh, that's it calibrating itself, getting as close to the wall as possible. And that's it slipping. Hold that. Awesome. So as you can see, the wheels slip, and so what it does is it doesn't allow it to do what it's supposed to do. I mean, these wheels, uh, these wheels, unfortunately, are a little old, and they, they've they been worn. And that's going to keep moving forward until it falls off. Uh, yeah, yeah, but okay, somebody grab it. That's how you so it moves. Oh, uh, no, it's not. That's not going to just... It's just, just, oh, just supposed off. to calibrate it now. Yeah, just click and click. Thank you. So, that's it. It's also a little play actually because of the, uh, of the weight of the arms and also with the servo on this servo. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's actually a servo drone on the box. Now, hopefully, the Let's see Yeah. 